Pakistan says any reservations Kabul has with Islamabad should be resolved bilaterally rather than involving the U.S. In an interview, Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi talked about the Doha deal clause of U.S. facilitating talks between two states. Qureshi said a trust deficit between two countries has existed and Pakistan has done its best to bridge this gap. Discussing the Doha agreement, he said the deal will never have happened without Pakistan's role and emphasis on a political solution. The foreign minister said Afghanistan should talk directly to Pakistan as the U.S. is planning to withdraw as the two will always remain neighbors. So a direct approach should be given preference to. You know, if I have an issue with uh, Afghanistan, I will not ask Washington to play a role. I will speak to Kabul directly. For more on this, we are joined by Hamdullah Hamdar, the political analyst from Kabul, Afghanistan. Thank you for joining us. Now, Mr. Hamdar, the Taliban have said that they will not participate in the intra-Afghan talks until their prisoners are released under the deal signed with the U.S. How can the intra-Afghan dialogue achieve a peace in this complex situation? I believe that uh, uh, Taliban's uh, deal with the U.S. will be implementable and it will be practical uh, only if they, they first agree uh, to talk with the uh, Islamic Republic of Afghanistan. Once the Afghan government and the Taliban agree on the intra-Afghan peace talks, then they can go for uh, releasing uh, Taliban uh, fighters or the Taliban prisoners, and also Taliban can release the prisoners of the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan. Uh, I believe one, uh, as long as there is, no, there is no understanding and no agreement between the Afghan government and Taliban, uh, only the agreement between the U.S. and the Taliban will not be something implementable by the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan, as it will question the independence of the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan. And President Ghani uh, may be looking forward to uh, having an agreement with the Taliban on the uh, intra-Afghan peace talks uh, initiation. Mr. Hamdullah, now building up on your statement, only the agreement with U.S. and Taliban can't move the agreement forward if Afghan government isn't considered in the process. However, if the intra-Afghan talks fail to start, how will it impact the recent U.S.-Taliban deal, keeping in view that the U.S. is going to the elections in November? We all know that the U.S. is trying its best, best especially Donald Trump is trying uh, his best to have achievements for the presidential elections, to have some strong statements during the presidential com campaigns. Uh, uh, however, the peace deal uh, will be able to go forward or to be implemented between the uh, uh, U.S. and Taliban and also the Afghan government only uh, when the Afghan government, the Taliban, agree to start the intra-Afghan peace talks. However, if the Taliban deny to start the, uh, the intra-Afghan peace talks with the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan, I believe it will not be implementable, and then it will also have uh, adverse effects on the U.S. Uh, presidential campaigns for the Donald Trump. And uh, therefore, I believe that Taliban should uh, show some flexibility, and they should start the uh, intra-Afghan peace talks. Uh, they should agree to talk with the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan and should not avoid it or should not reject talking with the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan. The conditions that they have uh, set out in the uh, MOU or Memorandum of Understanding that they have signed with, uh, with Zalmay Khalizat, uh, that is something that is questioning the independence of the Afghan government. If the Afghan government have agreed with Zalmay Khalizat and with Taliban, to put this statement or to put this condition or article in that memorandum of understanding, then it's okay, I guess, if there is a pre-understanding uh, or agreement of the Afghan government. Otherwise, something that is decided or agreed upon between Zalmay Khalizad and the Taliban, that is something that is implemented, implementable by both of them, but Afghan government will not be, uh, I mean, uh, they are not responsible for implementing that. Uh, if, if the agreement is sought before, then, uh, then it, it, will, it will work and I guess uh, it, it, they will proceed with the agreement implementation and Donald Trump will also have an achievement for his presidential campaigns uh, and he can make some strong statements there to get more votes for bringing peace back to Afghanistan and for uh, starting the return of the international troops, especially the American troops, back to their country. 
That was Hamdullah Hamdard, political analyst from Kabul, Afghanistan, talking to us about U.S. Taliban peace deal. Thank you for your time.